Hey y'all, I wanted to take a minute and discuss installing updates for Civil 3D. So, a couple different ways to do it. It's the best way to do it. And how do I know that I have my builds on my machine and all that and whatnot. So, let's get in and take a look at the agenda here. So, two things we're going to look at. Uh, Civil 3D updates and built on technology updates. So, what's the difference between them? Where do I look for them? Where do I get either of them? Is it, you know, kind of get one through the desktop app? Both. And uh, let's take a look at different ways to install those updates. So let's go ahead and close out of PowerPoint here. And let's go ahead and minimize this and minimize this here. All right. So let's get Civil 3D open. And we'll just we'll work in 2023, but no difference between any of this any of the recent recent versions from Autodesk. So and then let's get let's get manage.autodesk open here oh. all right there we go. all right so we got manage.autodesk open here and then let's go to about simple three yeah. so this question mark up here you could that down and go to about or you can type about on the command line if you're in a file so there are three things to look for, or really four things to look for with updates for Civil 3D. So the first one is Autodesk Civil 3D. So you can see 2023, nothing after it. So that means I am running the base version of Civil 3D. There may be an update out yet. I haven't looked in the last month and a half or two, but we're going to see if there's anything that I'm missing. The next three are the built-on. It's called the built-on technology. So that's AutoCAD, AutoCAD Map 3D, and then Architecture. And you can see with Map 3D right here that I have 2023.0.1. So that means I've installed some sort of patch since that product was released or may have come out with that patch right, right, right when I installed it. So the four things to really look for. So, and then what I commonly see is I've installed my updates for Civil 3D. I don't have AutoCAD. I don't need to install those updates. So I didn't, or I didn't see it. I didn't look for it. Well, yes, you do have Civil 3D, but AutoCAD is Civil 3D is built on AutoCAD. So a lot of dependencies of Civil 3D are from AutoCAD. So you need to be installing the built-on updates as well. So desktop app, and let's go to manage.autos.com. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close Civil because you never wanna put an update on with Civil 3D open. And then let's go to product updates here. Product updates, and I'm just going to move the desktop app over something like this. Okay, and then let's go to, so, you know, so there's two different ways this works here. So on this side right here, a managed auto, so it shows you everything you could possibly have. Yeah, let's see if it'll let me search here. There we go. So these are every update to every product that I've assigned to me. So I have the AC collection. I have a lot of things assigned to me. So I have a lot of different, um, I have a lot of different products that I might not even necessarily have installed. So there's a lot that really hits you when you get on, when you get onto the uh, Manage Autodesk. On the flip side with the desktop app, it just shows you what you have installed and what you don't, what products you have installed and which updates you don't have applied to those products. So. You can see here, these are the four products I've installed on my machine. Navisworks, Recap, Vehicle Tracking, Civil 3D, AutoCAD Raster Design. So, Civil 3D right here. So these are all the updates for Civil 3D. So if you go through here, let's see if there's any uh, hot fixes for Civil 3D. So this is that first one, just Civil 3D. And I can see there's a couple extensions that I may or may not, you know, I, I don't have a need for them, so I'm not going to install them. So there's no updates for Civil 3D that are showing. And so let's check the built-on technology. So that's this down arrow right here, my updates. And I can see that, and this is the built-on technology for all products that I've installed. So you can see there's the combined Civil 3D stuff. And then here's an AutoCAD 2023 update. So these usually get lumped together. If you have AutoCAD installed and you have Civil 3D installed, installing this fix, you know, puts the update on for both products. So let's go ahead and let's install 2023.0.1. And you can see that this same update is right here as well on manage.autos.com. So we just say update. 
that update is now downloading and then it's going to install on my machine when I relaunch Civil next to my AutoCAD for that built on component I'll see 2023.0.1 and let's see if there's anything else that I am missing in terms of uh, Civil 3D and the built on technology and it doesn't look like it it's like a bunch of specific products uh, you know specific products to specific things or so updates to specific products I might not necessarily have installed right now so you can see that we're installing that update right now these can take between 5 to 30 minutes so but just keep in mind just to some things up here two different places to install updates manage.autodesk or the desktop app which is down in your system tray right here and oh, that look on there it is right there and you can install from the desktop app as well I prefer the desktop app but manage autodesk is a perfectly a viable solution. Remember, there's four things to check for. You got Civil 3D and the built-on technology for it, architecture, map 3D, and AutoCAD. Thank you for your time.